Welcome to So Very Easy. My name is Laura and let's make a bed cozy. What is a bed cozy? Well, it's something to wear in bed while you're watching TV or reading. It sort of replaces that blanket that goes around your shoulders. The bonus is it leaves your arms free so you can have a snack while you're watching TV or being able to turn the pages without the blanket falling off of your shoulders. And let's make it fun, elegant, and reversible. So the fabric I've chosen is going to be this fun fur, a jaguar print and a llama print. They're both very lightweight and they have a bit of a stretch to them. So they're going to be very, very comfortable to wear. They're going to move as you move. And the bonus is they're 100% polyester, so you're going to be able to wash them afterwards. This fabric is from Shannon Fabrics, and I love it because it's 60 inches wide. Now you can start with a yard of each fabric up to a yard and a half. I'll be able to explain that to you in a minute. If you do get a stretch knit, I would recommend a 7511 and a good all-purpose thread that's going to go with the both of them. So the colors will hide really well in the fun fur. When you buy your fabric, you have the selvages running down one side, then you have a fold on the other side. And this is the 60 inches. And that is going to equal from the arm to the arm. So it's going to go across the shoulders. If this is the way it comes off the bolt, you want to fold it so that the selvages are going to be running together. So I have the one selvage this way and the other selvage is going to match the other side. And when you have 60 inches, what's going to happen is that is going to go from arm to arm and is going to be part of the jacket. So the length is going to be determined on how much you buy. So if you buy one yard, you're going to end up with a jacket that comes to about here. Yard and a half, well, you can see it's just a little bit longer. And both pieces of fabric you're going to treat exactly the same way. So what we need to do is find the center of the fabric. Now I'm going to show you on a piece of paper. It'll be a lot easier to see. So you have the folded side and the selvage side. So if you're going to buy a yard, you'll get from here. If you're going to get a yard and a half, you're going to get longer. And then you'll be able to buy as long as you want. What you're going to do is open this up and refold so that the selvages are touching each other. This area here is going to be the top part and your arms are going to come out of here. So the length here is how long you want it. So what we need to do is find the shoulder measurements and the center measurements. A lot of time you're going to be able to see that fold on the fabric so it's already going to be marked for you. You will just need to fold and mark that seam. So when you open up your fabric you're going to need a shoulder seam and the center seam. You need to choose one side for the back, one side for the front. So the selvages are running along this way. Along the center you're going to need to cut one end straight all the way to the end. And when you fold it back, that is the area where the front of the jacket's going to become. Now we need to cut a neckline. In the description, I've given you a neckline that you can use. You have your center front and that cross line is that cross line right here. So when you put the pattern onto the fabric, you're going to be able to cut out a circle which is going to be the neckline. So to find that center line and that neckline, I have the selvages matching up on one side and the other. So this is going to be the shoulder line. And in order to find that center, I don't measure. I just take it and I'm going to fold it together. So I'm able to take and draw a line on one edge and that is going to be the front. I'm going to be able to just hold that fabric and mark that seam. Then at the top here, this is where the neck's going to go. Just going to use those fold lines and mark. So when it's opened up, I'm going to have that center fold and the shoulder marks. The raw edges are this way, the selvages are this way. This is going to be my shoulder line. 
I now can take my template and match up that X to the center. My shoulders are here, my back is this way, and this is going to be my front cut line. Then I can cut out that circle and I can cut one side, which is the front, all the way down. So the neckline is done. I have a neckline and the opening. So, so far we have the neckline cut out, that one cut that opens up to the front, and there's that other fold, and we have selvages and selvages. The next thing we need to do is figure out how wide we are going to want it, which means you want to make it comfortable for yourself. You're only going to need half of your measurement. So I'm going to put the tape measure around the largest part of my body and measure it. Then I'm going to be able to take half that measurement and I want to make sure I don't go any smaller than that half measurement. 40 inches is my measurement so I cannot go any smaller than 20 inches. And that is going to be the measurement that's going to fit the jacket to your body. Now to cut out the arm, you're going to take this, you're going to place it on a fold, and you're going to cut out a portion here. So you're going to create an arm and the body of a jacket. I'll show you again on the paper to start with. So this is what we have so far. We have the jacket opening, the selvages together, and the neckline. What we're going to want to do is do the waist measurement here and the arm measurement. So you're going to take that measurement and you're going to mark a portion on the bottom. So I know that I cannot go any less than 20 inches. So I might go 24 or 25, center it out and find the mark. And because 24 is a good measurement, I'm going to go 12 inches over on one side, 12 inches over from the other. That's going to give me my 24 inches. The next is going to be this arm. The arm can range anywhere between five inches down from the fold to even nine inches. How big you make this is how big your sleeve's going to be. I'm gonna go eight inches down. So I've, the fold is here, I'm gonna go down eight inches. Now I can just take this and I'm going to have like the square, but I'm gonna take the square and I'm just gonna round it. And this piece, you're gonna cut off. And you're gonna do the same to both sides. So I will have four large pieces that I can use for another project. And this is how the jacket is going to look. Now it makes sense. You have the center front, the bottom of the jacket, your sleeves, and the jacket is going to be opened up. Now let's do this to the actual fabric. So here's the front of the jacket and I'm going to do 24 inches. So I'm going to go from the center over 12 inches. Now I need to do the arm and I'm going to go down eight inches and I can draw lines going right up. My 12 inch from my center, my eight inch down and you can measure all the way. And to make that curve, I use a plate or in this case, a charger. I can match up those lines and draw your curve. So you have your front and it comes into the top, which is the sleeve. Your shoulder is still up here. Once I have it drawn on one side, I take the fabric and I fold it in half so I cut all four layers together. So there we have the jacket. We have the neck front opening and you have your arms. This is the entire pattern. Once you have the one piece of fabric done, you're going to lay it atop of the second piece of fabric and just cut them exactly the same. So I have the two fabrics together and I can just follow all of the lines that have already been done and cut out the second piece of fabric. So now I will have two identical pieces. This is all you're going to need for the jacket. No additional fabric and no more cutting. The first thing we're gonna do is sew the arms. So we need to take each individual piece, match up the seams and stitch just that curve and do that to both sleeves and to both pieces. Right along this area where you have that circle shape, you need to just do some little clips and that's going to make that curve nice towards the body. So right along that edge, you're just going to just do some little snips 
getting close to the threads, but don't cut the threads. Do that to all four sleeves. Now we're going to put the jackets together and sew them as one complete unit. So you need to have the right sides matching. So take one and turn it right side out and you'll be able to slide it into the jacket. Now match up the seams that come down to the front, around the collar, and along the back. All but the sleeves. When you have them matched up, you just need to stitch them together and it's going to be one continuous. So start in the back, go up to the front, around the collar, going back down to the front, and right to the bottom. So the seam is done all the way around. And right here at the curve of the neck, you're going to need to do those little snips just like you did around that circle of the arm. Then on the two corners, just clip off a little bit of the extra fabric that's sticking out right from that corner. Now you're going to turn the jacket right side out by one sleeve. So you're going to literally pull one jacket out through that opening. Just take the sleeve and stick it inside the other sleeve. So both the sleeves are together. Make sure that the sleeve inside is nice and straight and that it's not twisted. And because the seam here was the selvage edge, it's not going to fray. So you'll be able to match up the seams and just do a row of top stitching to hold those two layers together. Do a row of top stitching all the way around the jacket. That's going to give it a nice finish all the way along the edge. And the jacket is done. So the bed cozy is done. The sleeves are nice and long so you can roll them up. You get a little peekaboo from the other side. So if you want it cozy this way, it's perfect. Or this way. It doesn't matter which way you wear it, it's going to be fine. That eight inches gave me a nice big sleeve so I have lots of room and my own personal measurement made sure that I had it to the size that I wanted. One straight seam down the center, the neckline, and you're done. No hand stitching. It is a quick and easy project to make. I do hope you give it a try. And as always, thank you for joining me today on So Very Easy. Feel free to subscribe, and as always, come on back. Let's see what we're sewing next time in the sewing room. Bye for now.